good morning. <laughs> this is not my norm, right? My normal spot, my normal what I look like because I'm fresh out of the shower, didn't wash my hair, it's a little wet. I am doing a 24 hour a day in my life working mom edition. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna take y'all with me everywhere today for 24 hours. Currently, I am out of the shower getting ready for work. I am making breakfast for the heathens, packing my son's lunch, and then my husband will leave with my daughter, and then a bit, little bit later, I will leave with my son to take him to school and me go to work. So this is gonna be a fun one. I know a lot of people ask me like, what my day is like, and like how I find time to do that or do that. So today, I have a lot to do. So I figured it would be the perfect day to show you guys around a day in my life. And as you can see, we have a messy kitchen. We got some clean dishes and some dirty dishes and lunch stuffs and, you know, we're real. And I have real lived in mess. So now I'm gonna make lunches and breakfasts. again it's still morning it's probably like 7 30 I am um, put on my quick makeup didn't do much put some dry shampoo in my hair um I just put on like a sweater before I go to work because it's cold my husband just left to take the girl to school I leave a little bit later to take the boy to school and then I go to work before I end up you know going to work I come in and I check my emails not my work emails these are my personal um emails or my personal work, my stuff for my blog. Um, if I have any to respond to, I'll respond to them. I have about like 30 minutes to like dig into my emails, anything that I need to do that I can get done in the morning. Um, before I leave, I will do. I also check YouTube comments first thing in the morning. I'll go into the YouTube creator studio and just like check my comments that I haven't responded to. Um, I do have a video going up today or just went up. And so I'll kind of monitor the comments on that one. And, you know, my son's in there just kind of playing. You saw what I made them for breakfast and lunch and all that. So I those go to school with them. My daughter, she only had a vegetable tray, and that's because she gets lunch at school. I buy the hot lunches there, and she just brings a snack. So it's like that vegetable tray. But, yeah. um, If you want to talk about reading, I did read. I have read a hundred and. 25 pages of City of Lies by Sam Hawk and so far so good. That's our shelf space book of the month and I'm hoping that this book breaks my shelf space curse because I have had cursed shelf space books ever since the first time I hosted. I hosted pretty early on in the shelf space career with Jesse May and my book was Rage of Dragons and that was a hot freaking mess, right? Like no one really liked it, and it was very divisive. It was like you either loved it or you did not love it, and like it was like the shelf space civil war broke out, right? So that was the whole thing. And then I did recently with Bethany, um, our pick was Kill the Queen, which neither one of us liked either. Like it wasn't bad, it was just like not good. So I'm really hoping that this book that I'm reading for shelf space with Brightness Katie Reads. It's going to be the curse breaker because 125 pages in, I'm really into it. It doesn't have like magic in the way a fantasy story we typically think of. It's like a, but it's not military because the people are like very peaceful and they're very like anti-war, but they're like, they have a very small army, but they're like being besieged and like they're chucking everything at them, trying to figure it out. And all of a sudden, they need warriors. And they're like, what? What? We're a peaceful company, so. Or a peaceful, like, country. So, we'll see. It's so far so good. I'm really interested in it. Um, but, yeah. There's, like, a murder mystery and a siege. And I think 
magic starts to play a part at the end of the book or maybe because there's a second book and I think the second book is like there's magic back in the world or something like that but I'm not really sure so far I am enjoying it but yeah I've been drinking some coffee checking some emails this is what I do in the morning and then I take my son to VPK so come along with me if you want to watch me live a weird busy life Good morning, Megan. Say hi, buddy. We are headed to school. I've got all my stuff, his stuff. We're headed for school drop off. Oh yeah, that's what we do every time. Every morning, school drop off. All right, so we are at Lucas School. Yeah. But we're nice. like five, 10 minutes early. So we have to sit and wait before I can drop him off. Yeah, because I barely even can get us coloring cookies. Oh, our friend brought us um these cookies with edible markers. Yeah, you're supposed to draw on them mm -hmm. so it can look beautiful until it tells you to eat them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're just sitting here waiting to go in to school. Hopefully this little dude has a bad day or has doesn't have a bad day. Yeah, I want I want to eat. I want to color my cookie and eat it. Yeah, but you got to have a good day at school and listen, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and once I drop him off, I will head to work. Oh, the sun. It's bright. Yeah. But I'll update you. Keep you updated all day. All right, boys dropped off. He is up at school. It is 8.45 and I'm headed into my office because I have to work from the office today. Some days I work from home. Lately, I've been working for the office um, much more often. So that's nice. I get to see adults and people. So I'm going to go to the office and I'll kind of let you follow me around a little today, but I got to be doing it on the sly because it's really weird to film yourself at work with a bunch of people. But We'll see what we can do. I also have a marketing meeting today. So like, ew, but whatever. It's a meeting. So that'll be fun. But we'll see what we can do as far as getting like content at the job. So we'll see. Hello. <laughs> so I'm out of work and that was fun. I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I got some B-roll, but we had meetings and work stuff and I ate lunch and breakfast and all, you know, all the good stuff. It is now like 2.45. I am going to pick up both children and then going to start what I like to call the second half of my work day. So I'm done with work work and now I have to go to homework, mom work. So, you know, I'm going to go home. We're going to make dinner. Um, the oldest is homework and the stuff I have to help her with. And of course there's, you know, laundry and dishes and like all the regular mom life stuff. And I should probably work on some editing and blogging and I'm going to try to read tonight. But like, oof. I'm hoping y'all are enjoying this like ridiculous 24 hour vlog because it's going to be crazy. Like honestly, my work day at my day job 
is probably the least chaotic part of my day. Like this is when the busy part starts, even though I'm home. So let's get to All it. Right. So we're home. I'm, oh my God, my mascara is like everywhere all over my face. So sorry, I look ridiculous, but I'm here. I am making dinner. After dinner, we're gonna do homework and then I have like some emails and stuff to do. Like it's never ending. I think I'll probably get to like sit down and relax sometime around eight something when the kids go to bed. So if y'all wonder how I get any reading done, it's because I don't sleep. <laughs> It's literally because I read when the kids go to bed and then I'm up until about midnight and then rinse and repeat up at 6.30 again. So, so much fun. But I am making salmon and veggies for dinner. The kids are in their room playing and after dinner we will sit down and I'll work on homework together because mm, good times, math homework. Ugh. But yeah, so far this is how my day is going. It has not been a bad day by any means. So, you know, not hating it and I... Better get this in the oven. <laughs> Back again. It is now like 7.30. Homework's done. Dinner's done baths are done um yeah I'm working on editing a post right now that needs to go up tomorrow <laughs> as you can tell it's loud and chaotic yeah I'm editing a post that needs to go up tomorrow it is a sponsored post that's going up on the coffee mom blog so working on that on the Instagram account it's not a full blog but I do have a blog that I have to work on too. And I still need to read some more of the City of Lies. But I'm going to wait until after 8 to do that. When the kids go to bed, I will read some of that. But yeah, it's been a long day and it is still not over. I have worked and worked and bombed and worked some more. And as you can tell, I'm looking rough. I'm wiped up most of the makeup and... Whew, it's been a day, but yeah, so far it hasn't been a bad day. My back is itchy though because like I got more color. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, we did the top about a week or so ago and it's in a healy itchy phase. So yay for that. But yeah, I just have a lot going on and this has been a fun 24 hours. It is still not over. I am going to probably update you as I'm reading because you know this is a reading channel so I'm gonna read City of Lies by Sam Hawk tonight but yeah uh we did some math and spelling and then Willow did a project like an art project thing she had to do and the boy had some like letters and stuff that he had to do they are now in their room reading <laughs> before bedtime and that's that's about it the husband's hanging out we had dinner it was nice but it's still it's still not like relax time right I still have stuff to do so if you're interested in uh you know 24 hours of my life hopefully this was exciting for you because it was really not a very exciting day but I missed vlogging and I kind of wanted to do this for a while 24 hours in my life and I will catch you up later when I finally sit down to read. So I just wanted to show you this. This is my bedroom and it is a wreck right now. Like unmade, dirty laundry, stuff hanging on my exercise bike, clothes that need to be put away. I feel like this is important to share, this mess, because every time you see a blogger, influencer, whatever you want to call them, photos, videos, whatever. It always looks beautiful and not messy and whatever. But in reality, everyone is showing you a snapshot, right? They're showing you a little piece, a perfect snapshot. When in reality, every influencer blogger I know, and I know a lot, has a mess 
hidden right off camera. So don't compare yourself. Just wanted to throw that in. And just in case you thought it was just that room, nope, this is my office. That beautiful office that I film in that you see photos and pictures in? Yeah, this is what it actually looks like. That's my husband's side, my side, the actual bookshelves, mess. So yeah, again, don't compare. Don't ever compare yourself. Like, everything's not as pretty as it is in front of that camera. Behind that camera, you can always find a mess. All right, it is around 8.30. Kids are finally in bed. We sat and played with Matchbox cars for a while. And now I'm digging into City of Lies by Sam Hawk. So far, I'm actually 125 pages in and I'm really liking it. I will say it has some super long chapters. Not my fave, but it's super cool. It's very fantasy light like there's no like magical creatures or there's no magic to speak of yet I think that comes in at like the end of the book like there's gonna be an awakening of magic or something along those lines but right now it's like a city in siege and we've got a guy that's like a poison tester and his uncle died and all of that so we will see there's like a murder mystery so so far, so good, but I am now going to be reading a little bit to try to get caught up. All right, this is the last update of this 24 hour vlog, day in my life reading vlog. It is now like 11 p.m. and I'm done for the night. Can you tell? I'm so tired, I'm a mess. I'm 250 pages into City of Lies and y'all, if I wasn't so tired, <laughs> I would keep reading because it is getting super good. Like. We're finally about halfway through and we're starting to get some like realization moments and we're finally starting to kind of figure some new things out and there's still a whole bunch of questions but I'm starting to figure it out and I'm loving that and while I don't think it's perfect like I don't think this is gonna be a five star book maybe four I'm really enjoying it and I'm excited to finish it see where it goes Hopefully you enjoyed this like 24 hour life vlog. I know it's a little different than my normal videos, but I wanted to get back into vlogging. And like I said, I've had people ask so much, like, what do you do in a day? So this was like a work day. Maybe I'll do like a weekend day because sometimes those are more fun. <laughs> And I still work on the weekends because like the weekends are when I film and edit more and like do stuff that's not like work, but like is work. So like working on this channel, working on my blog and editing and filming and shooting photos and stuff. So maybe I'll do like a weekend productivity reading vlog or something. I don't know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any like cool vlog ideas or things you want to see like that are more lifestyle, I guess, related. And uh, let me know if you've read City of Lies and what you think about it because halfway through and I'm enjoying it, I think it might break my shelf space curse. So thank you guys for hanging out. My name is Jessie and I will see you next time. Bye.